All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Vic, aka Mr. Glass. We are back. It is Rams franchise. We're gonna. I think this is episode four. I don't know. It depends on how I cut them up. Uh, I did a lot of it yesterday. I may cut up some of them into one episode or two episodes, depending. So I'm not sure what number this is, but listen, we're going up against Green Bay this week. Let's take a look at their roster before we get into this. We got Jair Alexander, X-Factor corner, X-Factor linebacker, and Rashad Gary. Superstar uh, left tackle, David Bakhtiari. Superstar running back, Aaron Jones. We got really good left guard. We got a superstar left end. We got lots of really, really good players to fit around them. Christian Watson, definitely going to be the best receiver we played in a minute. Um, Jordan Love is going to be the guy that they're trying to get to get their weapons involved. That's a, that's quite the downgrade from Aaron Rodgers. I know a lot of the Green Bay fans, if you're watching this, you guys are used to seeing Aaron Rodgers back there for your team, and it's sad that Aaron Rodgers got hurt uh, first week of the season with the Jets, but I think that's going to be the weakness of their team is their, their quarterback, and we've got to make him beat us. Um, so I have to tell you guys in advance that I actually started this game before. So if you see, if I ever look at the schedule and you see uh, that I had to quit a game, it's because I did I, I wasn't recording. I literally thought I clicked the button to record. I did a whole intro just like this and everything. And then I looked up at the recorder and it was like, you're not recording, bro. And I was like, damn. So that's a thing that happened. I apologize for that, guys. But it is what it is. I don't know if I can do anything about that. And so we're here now. And we're going to take a shot at beating these Green Bay Packers. I will tell you that the first drive, before I noticed that we weren't recording, we stopped Green Bay. Can we do that again? This is probably going to be a run, I would guess. Yep. That's a really good stop on the run right there. I think the Green Bay Packers are hesitant to turn the keys over to uh, to Jordan Love here. I really do. I don't think they want to. I think if they want to be a ball control style team, and they want to hope that we don't get a lead so that they're not forced to throw it. But Jordan Love, and you see Christian Watson, man. That's a guy we got to pay attention to. We do a good job of bottling him up after the catch. And, I mean, that was almost like a run. It was a rollout pass right to the point right there. Not much going on. We definitely want to make sure we have two two people deep at all times to, to protect against Christian Watson. Because he's like the weapon for Green Bay right now. So all of our coverages today are going to have to have... Wow! You're telling me that Reed did all of that, bro, and barely held... Wow, dude, that was a hell of a hell of a play for him. We're gonna go with the standard, and I know that I just said I was gonna have two safeties deep, but I really I, I think they're gonna run the ball. I don't think they're gonna throw it. So we're gonna try to yeah, I was right, and hey, that's a great stop by draw. Yeah, I mean they they seem like they want to run the ball a lot, um, but that was a good throw by by Jordan Love. So I'm not sure why they're so hesitant to let him have it. Let's go with a cover nine show here. We're gonna we're gonna fake like it's cover two, but then we're gonna have somebody deep, and that's just the perfect play that they just made, right in the middle of the zone. Um, perfect play call for them. Can't say nothing about it. This is definitely gonna be a run, so we gotta make sure we're ready for that. Got Christian Watson one on one manned up against. I think that's Buckhalter. Play fake. Oh man, Buckhalter was in such beautiful coverage there. If the throw was on target, we would have had a pick. But that blitz made uh, Jordan Love hustle right there, I'll tell you that. We definitely like blitzing him because it does not seem like he does well against the blitz. And that is a drop, great hit by Buckhalter there. We're gonna run man coverage here with two safeties over the top once again. We just don't want to give up anything. No, I messed up, dude. I clicked the wrong button. That sucks. I 
suddenly clicked, like switched to the corner there, and and I ran like I was getting ready to brush on the on the line. So that's gonna alter their play call. I think I'm gonna go zone instead here. We obviously we want to protect against stuff. I'm gonna take Madden and I'm gonna watch his zone pretty carefully. Big hit. Good job right there. I don't know how Reed caught that first one, but a big hit right there from uh, Josh Allen. And the ball comes out. Alright, so the field goal is going to be good. Um, wasn't the best drive from our defense, but it wasn't the worst. Kind of a bend but don't break type of mentality right there. And uh, we just got to come out on offense and do our thing. Hopefully we can get six. If not, we get three and keep pace. Um, that's got to be the, the, the goal here on this one. Hodges Tomlinson, who has several picks, I believe, this year. Stole really well. Um, Myrick. I don't know what to make of Hugh Myrick right now, guys. Honestly, he's a good quarterback, but not a great quarterback. And I don't... I highly doubt he's going to come up as anything other than star. Just the way... Like, sometimes you can feel it. You know what I mean? Like, when you get a special player... Like, this guy right here, I feel like he's going to be superstar or superstar X back here. Con Cameron Monroe, because you, he just feels different to use in the game. And I maybe I'm tripping when I say that, but I feel like there's something about these rookies. Like, when you get them, you can just tell some of them are just better. You know what I mean? Wow. That is a great throw, and Douglas can do nothing about it. DK Metcalf on that deep route is basically the 1A. When we get in trouble or we want a big play, that's our route. That's our guy. It's really hard to keep up with him one-on-one, -on -one, and I'm very surprised. I mean, I get it because Monroe has done so well on the ground that you want to have that safety kind of more in the middle to to react to the run, maybe even in the box, but you're leaving the best deep ball receiver in the game, probably, in DK Metcalf one-on-one -on -one against what's going to be an inferior athlete almost every time, so I'm just, I don't know, man, I don't know about that, I, I don't think I would do that, I'd rather live with getting beat on the ground than getting beat, oh, Hodges Tomlinson again, Hodges Tomlinson again, I'm pretty certain that's his third pick of the season. This guy has been nothing short of tremendous in the slot, man. Wow. All right, so now we got a fresh set of downs after the turnover. And we're going to try to get this into the end zone. See Rashawn Gary there. We're going to throw it to the tight end off the... The playmaker. Oh, he fumbled, but it's a touchdown anyway. He fumbled right before getting to the end zone. But 2-2 Atwell is Johnny on the spot. And we get a touchdown on what could have been a disaster. That is tremendous, man. What a play. I'm upset that Myrick doesn't get the throwing touchdown. But it's still a great recovery by Atwell. And yeah, man. But the tight end fumble, that's, that might leave him with uh, max security. Because if he's able to actually come down with the ball in those scenarios, then that would be really good, especially for a tight end. That was a great play, though. We, we did it well. We did it very well, I think. Wow. Dean with a huge hit on uh, Aaron Jones. And we get the pass break up. Our, our linebackers and our DBs, man, really surprising for low overalls that they're playing as well as they are. Aaron Jones, you know it's a matter of time before a superstar back gets a good run. I'm not really discouraged by that. You know what? We're actually going to flip the script here, and we're going to go zone. Because I just don't... Yeah. Tyler Higby with a gain of six. He's a big body. I don't know if I mentioned that in the other... Yeah, I think I mentioned that in the other intro, actually. 
uh, but I said that they get they signed Tyler Higby. Which we gotta be careful about him because he's a, he's a giant receiver. Wow, that is Romeo Dobbs. It's a good play, right in the the spot that we're weakest in in the zone here. We're gonna go man now, try to confuse Jordan Love. He's playing well this drive. After the pick, didn't lose confidence, which is key. All right, that's a good play. That's a good play. Aaron Jones, nine yards. I'm gonna, I'm gonna apply some pressure now. I think. They, if, if I were them, this is where I pass the ball. The reasoning behind that is, I just think that if you're gonna pass, this is the best time to do it when you know. Okay, it's third and one if we miss it. So why not go for a pass here and try to get closer to the end zone? Dude, it's a good throw. It's a good throw. Christian Watson, really good player. Can't say nothing about it. Really can't. I mean, it, he's a superior athlete to, to the guy we got over there. At least right now. Face mask. Only way we can bring him down, man. That sucks. Aaron Jones playing really well. I mean, there's not much we can do about it. Playing really well, guys. Yeah, we saw that from up here, CD. A tug on the face mask and the flag comes out. And we saw that last week they had some defensive miscues like that. And they told us that they had worked hard on it in practice and thought they had it all cleaned up. But obviously the message has a really sunk in. Okay, second and goal on the two. Probably gonna play a little bit of that uh five two. Because we wanna try to stop the run if we can. I'm going to take control of Madden and play in the box here. We hit him, and we stopped him. Good job. I got the hit off, but he bounced off of it, but he was slow enough. You know, we slowed him down enough. We're going to go goal line here, and we're going to press. So we're going to press everybody, and we're going to hopefully get him down for a loss here. Let's go. Find the hole and attack it. The hole is right there, and we will get him down. That is not going to be a touchdown. Let's see what they elect to do. They're going to go for the field goal. That is a smart decision. It makes it an eight-point game. Uh, but you got to hope that we don't score again, buddy. That's the gamble. I probably would have went for it on fourth and goal from the one. Simply because if you don't get it, that means we're stuck on the one. Maybe you can get a safety. Um, and then you can start your drive again with a little bit of an advantage. You know, with the bad field position from the safety and then the two points and you know plus you're looking at the half you're thinking maybe we get the ball twice before you into the half on it like that there's a lot to it i really got to stop returning everything anyway we're gonna run it we're gonna bleed some clock i think just because we just want to i don't know man we don't want a lot of offensive chances for guys like Christian Watson and Aaron Jones and you know did they really believe it would happen this well this efficiently I know they'll take it and afterwards they'll say there was never a doubt in our minds we were going to be successful in this one oh Monroe if you could have just gotten one more second on that block we'd have been talking about a touchdown We're gonna run this stretch play here. That was unfortunate. Uh, we get it. When you got a back like McGraw, you just you gotta give him an opportunity on fourth and one. You know what I mean? I've talked him up so much. If I don't go for it. With a yard to gain, maybe he's not the back I thought he was, but he gets it there and proves me right. We don't want to throw it near Jair Alexander here, so we're probably going to try to avoid that. It's a bad throw. Bad throw by Myrick. Hey, you're not going to be able to throw them all perfectly, man. I understand that. It's not a, a horrible situation. To have an incompletion, so we're okay with that. 
You see they got everybody on the line that's a good player. They definitely intend to rush the passer here. Really good block by 74. Really good juke move by Monroe. And we get a big time game there. We're still in the mode to let clock run here. Because we have a lead. We don't want them getting the ball back in this half. And you see Myrick here. Not super electric with the ball. Like he'll scamper for a gain of eight. I really want to make him a better runner. So we're probably going to upgrade Scrambler after we after we get, you know, the throwing stats to like 85-ish. Alright, so now we're going to Okay. If we don't get this, then we've killed the clock. We get the ball back at the half. Everything's cool. Oh, all right. I'm gonna punt it because we, like I said, we killed the clock. I really thought we had that one. That was a really good opportunity. We're gonna go prevent here. Back everybody up. They're running it. It looks like so. That sucks, but. Forced them back inside, got the stop we needed, and we're going to see you guys in the second half here. So we have reached half time here, and what's it? And we will skip the highlight show. This All right, so we're gonna click run inside now, and we just we just gotta play better, man. That's it. That's the end of the story. We just gotta play better. I feel like our first half effort was lackluster in some ways. I think we could have did. A lot better with uh, everything that we have. We got turnovers. We got stops. The lead should be bigger. This is why I want to run inside. I want McGrow to get going a little bit. Uh, and running between the tackles on these guys, I believe, is our best bet. Because I think that they're excellent outside with the two edge rushers that they got. We don't want to run at them. It's a holy penalty, though. Matthew Bergeron, our starting left guard, is tagged with that one. And we're going to run it again simply because we just, I mean, why not? Man, I really tried to shake and bake there. Couldn't get anything going. We're having some drops here from DK, and it's hurting us. Really good throw right there by Myrick. Really good catch by the tight end. Now we're just going to let... Everything come to us. Man, I think he had a chance to break that one if he would have got that stiff arm. Um, honestly, I'm fitting to just burn clock, to be perfectly honest with you guys. Because I think my defense is good enough to where I'm not super worried. But I also don't want to give them tremendous amount of opportunities left. I mean, we have the ball. We're not running the ball as well as I thought we would here. Passing game seems to be our best bet if we can get DK to hold on to it. That sucks. Alright, so we're going to punt it because they've got to score in order to make this one interesting anyway. Man, we put it into the end zone by mistake. That sucks. Alright. So they're on the 20. They, they, I think they realize that they got to go for it. First down, Jordan Love. Good job. We're going to blitz here. We're going to see if we can get Josh Allen to get into the quarterback here. Thank you. 
get the quarterback and get the big time run stuff. Great job by Jared Allen there. Every bit of the money we gave him, he's worth it. You guys saw in week one, he got the big force fumble. Um, and he's, he's played well ever since with everything else. It's out of bounds. <clears throat> this is what I was saying. We got to make this guy be the one that has to beat us. Because I feel great about our chances if that's the case. He caught that, bro. Christian Watson with a tremendous catch. I'm serious, bro. That's not even a good read. It's really not. Uh, the pressure was on him. We, we got to the quarterback a bit, and he just kind of lofted it up there to give Christian Watson a chance, and he made the play for him. Look at Christian Watson, man. He's Johnny on the spot everywhere now. He's making reception after reception. He's got five on the day. And now they're going to run it. Third and one. He's really shifty when he gets out in the open field. Good job right there by Jones. You know what we're going to do, right? We're going to blitz. We're going to blitz heavily here. And we're going to try to knock these guys. And we don't, we don't make it happen. Anymore. You're kidding me. You're kidding me. What a run right there. He breaks two tackles. And Aaron Jones is going to get Green Bay two points away from tying up this ball game. We're actually going to have to go zone. We got linebackers here. We don't want to have linebackers here. I kind of figured that they'd run the ball or at least be in a... That's a great catch. Uh, all right. All right. We're not doing well running the ball, which is a problem. Uh, the first two games, we've run it spectacularly. And this one, not so much. We got two two yards of carry. Uh, I mean, the Packers front is really good. They got fast linebackers. I can understand why we're having the problem that we're having, but it sucks. That's just a great throw. Just a great throw. The tight end is right there when we need him. End of the third. We got to score on this drive. Get some distance. Make our way down the field. Milk some clock. Make them a little nervous on the next drive. Let's go ahead and do it, man. Terrible, terrible play. Not what they had in mind there. That's going to go as a loss of four. Well, Brandon, we could see that play developing, and they were hoping that he was going to be able to put a move on the first guy and turn it into a big play. But no such luck. The speed on defense continues to try to get Lehman to get the ball across the middle here. Pretty nice example there. Those guys be able to run from their assignments and finish off that play. Bro, what? That was the worst throw I've ever, I've ever used. That's a good play, but it just, I didn't do it right. That was the first down right there. If we could have got it off correctly, we got to punt the ball. There's no question about it. Got to hope our defense comes up alive. Game of three, not bad. Being on the tackle right there. I don't know what to do here other than 
take Dean and cover up. Jordan Love, man. He's playing well so far. Our gamble to make him beat us is not is not working right now. Well, actually, really, it's been Aaron Jones that has gotten us in a lot of trouble. Okay, game of two. 36. Can we make a big stop here, man? Can we make a big stop here? We need it. We've got to have it. Romeo Dobbs. That is a balloon-like throw, and he just happens to drop it in the bucket. Five yard gain on the throw. They're moving it very, very well here. And we're struggling to get a foot grip on some positive plays for our defense suddenly. Okay, they flip the play here. Tyler Higby, the biggest, slowest tight end I've ever seen, making a really big play for Green Bay right there. Uh, two minutes left, we got to force him to three here. And we don't. That is a great run once again by Aaron Jones. Damn. We may be doing the offseason. We may be done the offseason, guys. Listen, Green Bay is a really good team. I told you guys the defense is pretty good. It was going to be a tough task. And if this is the team that gets us, I can't complain about it. Because, they. I mean, I kind of expected it. They have a better team than us right now. They have more weapons across the board, offensively and defensively. They have X-Factors on defense where we don't. They have a tremendous... Uh, upgraded running back, which we don't, and that's coming to really bite us here. See the frame rate in Madden, not always great. But we get a gain of four there. We're going to keep everything moving quickly. Okay, it's going to be a first down. Let's do try to get Lehman to football, man. Great play right there by Jair Alexander. didn't have enough time for him to clear. Great play by Rashawn Gary. This might be it, guys. Might be all she wrote here. Dang it, man. Fourth down. Just bad throw. Bad throw after bad throw right now. And there it is, guys. We are going to lose this football game. That sucks, but uh, that means that in the next video we'll be warping to year three. I'm going to do that off camera so that you guys don't have to sit for the sim. But trust me, there will be uh, a new season coming up in the next video. 
we just we gotta improve the team's defense and we gotta get better weapons. I just feel like our offensive weaponry isn't allowing me to do what I need to do. I, and you see, if DK doesn't have a great game, we don't really have much else. Our quarterback can't deliver it a hundred percent where we want it, which is expected. You know what I mean? He's a rookie. He's not gonna be able to do everything. I mean, th there's an off chance that we can come back in this game with a with an onside kick and all the other shenanigans that could happen, but I doubt it's gonna happen. We're gonna have to throw it deep here and get it onside, and you know, we're gonna throw it deep, get get it, cut down onside, and then do it again. So it's gonna be pretty rare. And that, not a diving catch. This is pretty much a Hail Mary right now. Pretty much what we're, what we're calling. It's under pressure. DK makes the catch. Touchdown. Alright, so you tell me there's a chance, guys. We do have all of our timeouts, even still. So I mean, like they gotta, they they might. I mean, I don't know. I don't chance right there guys we definitely had a chance right there well with that first down that means the game's over I won't be calling any more timeouts that, <laughs> that sucks Green Bay is a tough team man we made some mistakes too Offensively, definitely can't do that on a good team. Our defense needs to be able to be better, but we just couldn't, man. Uh, Aaron Jones and Christian Watson and Romeo Dobbs and, you know, they just have a tremendous amount of weapons. Rashawn Gary came in really clutch for them as well on that last drive, getting that sack. Um, I don't know, bro. Not a lot we could do there. I was hoping to extend the season a little bit longer. But you know what? We did a lot better than we did the previous year. We won two games with this team before we ran into Green Bay. I'm going to see you guys in the next video, man. Make sure you like it up. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Don't break nothing, man. We're out.